And what's going on, everybody? It's your boy John for the Game of here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, I said Randomized Nuzlocke like it wasn't Gen Lock, but you know what? Y'all boy John is just out here. We're chilling. We're having a good time. Um, we're recording at way too late at night. Um, cause surprise. Uh, <laughs> at this point, me recording at night is just not even <laughs> a thing that is a topic conversation anymore because it just happens. Like I said, I should have just played Ultra Sun and just been like, okay, guys, we're going to play Ultra Sun and like totally fake the fact that we were playing Ultra Sun. Except for the fact that you literally can't do that. Um, let's do a team recap though because your boy John almost forgot about that. We got, we got Drake with Dragon Dance, Yawn, Psychic, and Sparkling Aria. We got UnQ with Giga Drain, Shadow Ball, Cotton Guard, and Discharge. We got Nick with Voltum Geyser, and Moon Geist Beam, Earth Power, and Bolt Switch. We got Dotty, the Machamp with uh, Sacred Sword, Brick Break, Liquidation, and Cotton God. And we got Fitta, because he's gonna Fitta sweep. With, there we go. We we finally have a mall that we can add personality to when it actually feels okay. It took us long enough. With uh, Dazzling Gleam, Discharge, Moon Blast, and Waterfall. And we got Sandy with Liquidation, Headbutt, Moon Blast, and Dragon Claw. So, something I need to talk about with that previous comment. Is it, I mean, obviously Daddy had personality the entire time. But like, I love being able to add personality to Pokemon. Uh, and that's like one of my favorite things to do, uh, um, is add that personality, that charm. And we finally have a second Mon that I can add personality to because it's been on the team long enough to where I'm like, you know, um, also like the names and all that stuff. Like it is genuinely a fun time when I can add those like elements to the soul or the, the Nuzlocke and stuff like that. Like add the fun little clicky things and just out of nowhere. Also, that's a mega staple eye. I knew it as soon as it popped up. I knew it immediately. I'm like, that boy's going to be a mega. <laughs> like, you know, at this point, anything can happen. Um, and so I'm not even surprised to see a mega at this point. Um, but yeah, we got Feta and Feta, like I said, Feta, Feta's got a Feta sweep. So, oh, I thought I was switching it in, but apparently I wasn't switching it in yet. Like, but yeah, today's episode, we got this, we got, uh, do we have another totem today? Also, this is your third episode of the day. I know I'm taking forever. Cause I'm behind on my episodes because your boy John is just sleeping literally <laughs> um, and thinking about work and all the fun stuff. And if I would have moon blasted, it would have been okay, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, thinking about work, thinking about all this other stuff that I'm trying to get to. Um, also kind of preparing for our next series, which I don't know. I shouldn't be doing that yet because we're definitely not like, I should start doing a lot more of that once we get to the fourth um, island. And that's something I definitely need to do when I get to the fourth island is just prep, 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 prep. Because once we get to the fourth island, I think we've got maybe seven episodes left. And that'll be two weeks. And then it will start. Like, I think that we're on track to start Soglock in the fall. Um, uh, Maybe even later than earlier than that. Because we have uh, this episode. This series is four a week, four episodes a week. So, and Sunday is kind of our my recoup day. Um, which I actually prob like, I think that having a recoup day is never a bad thing. And why not have it be the family day? Like the traditional day for families. Like I've been debating on having like a recoup day. Um, so I can start my week, um, a lot more excitable and I don't know. It's just, I'm thinking about things and I'm trying to like structure that I'm in, been, I'm in a spot where I have to figure out how I want to structure the channel. Which is definitely a weird spot for me to be in because I'm not used to that. I'm not used to like, okay, so we have to figure out this, that, and the other. Um, and I like, I love the fact that I have to think about that, but I, it's also, like I said, weird to think about the restructuring and kind of, I want to make things look pretty and nice and neat. And uh, that's a easy, easy dubs. Um, so yeah, it's definitely, I'm in a weird spot on the channel and a spot on the channel, which I never really ever thought I would be at. So it's definitely, definitely weird, but I'm definitely getting or going with it. Doing what I have to, you know, doing what I need to survive. Um, also, I'm trying to get in contact with Jonas so that we can do uh, Dark Souls 3. 
because that's on my channel. No, Dark Souls 2 is on my channel. So we can kind of do some Dark Souls 2 today. Um, you probably saw it today. Um already because this because i'm trying to like schedule my three uploads like pretty back to back to back just because this episode or this is that's it's been two days and they've been recorded i just didn't edit them okay like you know it should be the easiest part but that's the part that my brain was like you want some sleep you should sleep all day have a great time sleeping like that was literally my brain it's entire thought process it's like, come on, brain. You can do better than that. I know you want sleep, but I know allergies are kicking you in the butt. And I know you're thinking about work and the fact that you have to get up at 6 in the morning. I haven't had to do that in like four months. and Actually, really a lot longer than four months now that I think about it. Um, the last time I had to get up was, holy sh... It's been, almost been a year. I'm lucky. It's almost been a year since I've had to get up at 6 in the morning. But we have to do that. Um, yeah, it was December last year, wasn't it? That totally was. Okay, weird. Weird to kind of put that in perspective, that it was December of last year was the last time I had to get up at 6. <laughs> I hate getting up in the morning. I am definitely, but I, I, it's weird. So I'm one of those people, as much as I've been recording at night, I'm not a night owl. Like, I, and I'm not a morning person. Like, you can tell, whoa, what is this? What was that? I don't know. But I'm definitely a 12 to 12. Like, I'm a 12 to 12 person, which is, like, I'm very active between the hours of 12 p.m. and 12 a.m. But other than that, like, I'll be asleep. I like sleeping. Like, if I'm a, if not if I'm not asleep by 1, it makes me upset. <laughs> oh, this is my encounter. I just killed it. And that's the Gen 6 mom that we've been waiting on. I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot! Literally been waiting on a Gen 6 Mon this entire time. We get it, and I kill it. Ugh. That actually, that actually majorly upsets me. But it's also because I know that was my stupidity that caused that. Because if I would have, because I could have thrown anything at that thing and it would have caught. And it, that was a free Diggers B that we just got. And the ground type is actually very crucial to our team. Something that we've not had. Ugh. That's upsetting. I, I I mess that up. I can't even say it otherwise. Like, I can't be like, I was too busy talking. No, I was just too busy not paying attention. I knew it was an encounter. I was going for an encounter and then just failed miserably. Uh, but luckily, like I said, we have the trial. Like, this is going to be actually a relatively quick episode. Because we got the trial. After we finish the trial, we get the encounter. And that's the end of the episode. So this is like... This is a nice kind of... I'm going to... I like... The episode length, I'm thinking, is like 20 minutes. I'm thinking it'll be about 20 minutes, which means we only have like 10 minutes left the episode already, which, like I said, I don't know how I'm going to fare doing these 15-minute episodes. Like... Well, but again, it's like... A, it's an experimental test series to see if you guys enjoy the 15-minute episodes. Uh, and like what you guys prefer. But still, it's weird... It's weird to put it into perspective like that. Like, that our next series, we are going to have like 15-minute episodes, which means like... Yeah, like, definitely definitely more on the odd end than anything else uh, to have the episodes be of length. And the biggest thing, the, I think the biggest challenge of having a 15-minute episode is trying to make every episode have a point, have a purpose. Um, and I don't know. Like, I guess this is why I'm going to throw the question out at you guys. What would you guys like to see with shorter short form content um because i think i would i'm gonna enjoy short form content in a way but it's it, this is really an experiment for me too like how am i gonna fare with it what am i gonna do with it like because yes if you've noticed on the channel i've slowly started shortening down these episodes but this it's because i've been keeping the episodes the length that i wanted them to be which is about 25 minutes and I think I, I've done a very, very good job doing that and keeping the episode lengths around 25. Um, but yeah, it is definitely... It's weird 
wow, I failed miserably. It is weird having those shorter episode lengths um, at 25. So I could only imagine basically snipping that in half and be like, okay, that's the episode. Like, and there's going to be a lot of trial and error and a lot of, and a lot of limelights. So again, I am excited, but I'm also like, hmm, how is this going to work and what's going to happen when that happens and when that begins? So, again, lots of thought processes going on, but a lot of positive things happening, too. Um, now, I do recognize that with short-form content, that means my watch hours are going to go down, more than likely. Uh, but it also is going to require you guys not to watch this lot. So, you guys don't have to be... You can be invested easier, I guess. It's a lot... Like, I want to be inclusive. I want to include as many people as possible. And I think a good way of being inclusive is making it and allowing it for people to be able to sit down and watch because it is hard to invest 40 minutes and if everybody has a lots of different creators they want to support and I want to kind of allow that as well like I want to kind of allow people to what how did that not count how in the world did that literally not count? Hello? Was it because it wasn't looking at me? That was weird. But yeah, like, I want to allow for people to be able to watch other creators and stuff. Bro, this area is weird. Okay, but yeah, so if I can allow people to, like, watch other creators, that would be nice. And it's something I would genuinely enjoy. Um, is knowing that I'm helping. Kind of, in a way. I don't know. Again, lots of things that I'm thinking about. I definitely want to get professional art for Blue. Because Blue is the next game. I have, I will confirm that the next game is Pokemon Blue. Um, I just don't know how I should title it. or Like, I don't know the what's. The what's and the how's of doing it. Like, do I want to call it a Nuzlocke, but it's a Sogl But it's a Sogl So I feel like... I need to call it a, yeah. Like, because I want to call it as it is. I'm going to call it a Nuzla, or a Sogalog. And, like, the, this, uh, the screens, right? The, um, layouts. But, it is a Nuzlog. It literally what it is, what I'm doing, is a Nuz. I gotta explain it more later. But it's basically, it's a Nuzlog in which I carry over my team every time so like you get the same team members and the, some people like the people that die could be on the team for 150 episodes like as weird as that is to say some of your team members are from a very 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 could come from gen 1 to gen 5 like or Gen 6, like, and I think it's going to be a cool concept to be able to execute that nobody's executed before. Surprise, I'm doing something nobody's done before. Am I not surprised? No. But it's also because I find it, that's what I find enjoyment doing. I find enjoyment in doing, and bringing some different series styles to life. And if I can bring some different series styles to life, I think this is a series style that I can see people doing. Because, and it's like, well, didn't you just do Mudflock and isn't, but yeah, I'm like, yes, we did Mudflock where we played every single game. But we also, yeah, I don't know, let's just, I'm excited. There's something I'm genuinely excited for. Who are we leading with? Honestly, Drake's not even a bad lead. We kind of lost the person we led with normally, so... Oh my gosh, it goes so slow. Oh, it's because it, it's because this section is supposed to run at 15 frames. Oh, it's actually designed to run at 15 frames. That's so bad. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh. oh no! We have 
nothing for Tapu Koko. Oh no, and it's plus two special defense. This could. This could be the end. Oh, we have nothing that's super effective. We've got no ground types. No ground type moves. We've got no poison type moves. And no steel type moves. Wow. Okay. Um. So I'm going to start out and send an unqu you. Because unq you at least resists. Du the dual stabs. So unq you can handle that. Oh boy. It could bring out a fire type though. It could bring out something. Captivate. Doesn't even work. Okay, good. Good. Neutralize that move. That's perfect. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's my friend's favorite Pokemon now too. Okay, but again, we neutralize that stab. That is something we needed to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and Cotton Guard. Because Licky Licky is a physical attacker, primarily. So if we can kind of negate the physical attacker, that's good. We resist that. That's okay. Just neutralize the physical attacker. And this is why we're neutralizing the physical attacker. That did nothing. So let's Cotton Guard again. Again, we're neutralizing the physical attacker, getting the physical attacker out of the way. Once we can get that physical attacker kind of taken care of and know that we can take care of it, this is where we want to kind of take out and focus the Tapu Koko. Um, nice! We neutralized it. It's gone. Nice. Okay. We should handle it now. I thought it, I figured this could have been the end, but I, I just remembered I added on QU. Lucky, lucky me that I remembered that. But if we had two cannon, we were dead. If we had two cannon, if two... So, you know what? Papa's death was for the better of the Nuzlocke. Papa's death ended up being for the better than Nuzlocke. But that is insane to even think about that the potential of dying was there. Um, as much as it was, right? Because, yeah, if we didn't have Papa, it, would, it was GG. It was game over if we didn't have Papa. Um, so, again, unfortunately, we won't be able to do much damage to Tapu Koko. It's very unlikely. Um, I would see this doing like 20%. Okay, roughly 25%. So it's 4k. About what I expected. Um, which is good. We want to keep it to be what I expected. How everything goes. Licky Licky does a max of 8 damage to us. Which is perfect. Um, or even max rolls could even be 6. Who knows. But the fact that we can't get touched by Licky Licky. Does negate one issue that we could have had. And it looks like Tapu Koko goes down next turn. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um good on us there's nothing there is absolutely no way this can kill us even a crit won't kill so let's take out that tap of coco and let's win this thing i thought this was gonna be a lot more of a problem than it was uh, luckily um it was not and tap coco goes away good thank goodness we have unqe you on Q, you want to learn Solar Beam, and that's not happening. No, bye. Bye, Solar Beam. Mm. Do we let Nick evolve? Amnesia will make you a... Ah. I don't think we let Nick evolve. I think I like having Beast Boost still. But I think Amnesia is actually going to go over Volt Switch now. I think it's time for that. Yeah, it's time for that. But Nick won't evolve still. That's Amnesia is going to allow for more defensive setup. And that's going to be great. Daddy goes to level 53. Wants to learn Dynamic Punch. That ain't happening. Sorry. Sandy's level 43 and wants to learn Belch. Again, not happening. Sorry. Dude, I'm so happy. I figured out. And this is why. Oh, that crit. Okay. You know what? Tapu Coco, that combination could have actually killed me. But again, let's Giga Drain this thing. Hopefully, you don't have Sap Sipper. If you have a Sap Sipper, then we're in trouble. If you do not, then we are okay. And that's gonna that's gonna help. That's gonna help us gain like most of our health back. Let's go. Okay, awesome. Beautiful. We did exactly what we needed to do. We played the situation 100 percent correctly. 
And I'm very happy with that. I am 100% down with the fact that we played the situation the way we did. We neutralized. We knew we, we had a Mon that hardwalled both. If it was something that we didn't hardwall in this position, then, uh, oh, it could it could have been a lot worse than it was. I will say that for sure. That The situation that got just got played out could have been way worse than it already was, but we played it correctly for our situation. So... I'm just glad we had NQU on the team. Um, we're going to keep Nick as a special wall instead of a physical wall. Um, so we'll have a physical and special wall back to back. That'll be nice. Again, Nick, as much as you keep wanting to evolve every episode, you're not going to. Um, and yeah, again, this episode is going to be 25 minutes. It's going to be exactly the length that we like it to be. It's what we've been talking about this episode is my ability to make these episodes the length that we've wanted them to be. Um, and it's just, it's just beautiful. It's just nice. Um, that, that has been the case. And we got our totem. We got everything that we needed. Let's go. Hopefully our encounter isn't that great. Um, hopefully it's easily catchable. But I'll take a not easily catchable Pokemon. I'll kind of take what I can get. But yeah, like, we did good. I'm, ha I'm happy. Definitely very happy with the way that we did. And what we did. Dusk Balls are going to be beautiful. They're going to be helpful. And this dark, abandoned shop. <laughs> but yeah, no, this is This is definitely a beautiful episode I like the way this episode kind of cultivated And what cultivated here Our encounter is <laughs> The meme is continuing The meme continues <laughs> The freaking meme is just This, the world has basically said John, we have made your meme. <laughs> the world has made the meme. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Is it going to turn into a hoot hoot? Oh, or is it going to turn into a ditto? I don't know. It might. Dude, I might just meme that. I literally might just meme that. At some point. <laughs> Like, I wish, like, no, it might happen. It, I, it, it, mm, mm. Yeah, that might happen. I might re-randomize the game on purpose to change it into a ditto. Um, I'm gonna name this thing. What? Or, no, 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 no. We're naming this O. O? <laughs> Why is this meme a thing? Torrent and Blazing Knight with Swords Dance Dropping Drop Deck. Oh my god. That what a freaking way to end the episode. <laughs> Thank you guys all so much for watching. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to see the world throw memes at me left and right. And we'll see you on the next episode. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>